Hi friends, uh, I am Professor Saranganil Sauji. Today we are going to discuss the topic of operator overloading. It is one of the characteristics of C++ or we can say that it is one of the characteristics of object oriented programming. So let's see what is the meaning of operator overloading or why we are going to concept, we are going to use the concept of operator overloading. Let's see. One of the aim and objective of C++ is though your class is an user defined data type but it must behaves like an built in data type. What it means actually it should follows the characteristics of built in data type. So one of the characteristics of built in data types so let's see if we are going to declare three variables uh, integer we can say that integer x y and z. So, if I will take the value of x is equal to 10 from the user, y is equal to suppose 20. So, I can easily do it z is equal to x plus y and then I will get if I will print the value of z. So, I will I will directly print the value of z and I will get the answer or I can say I will get the output is 30. What it means actually we can add we can do the arithmetic operations directly onto the built in data type. Is it possible for the user defined data type? Can we directly add two objects? Can we directly subtract two objects? Can we multiply two objects? Can we do the division of two objects? Or can we perform the mode operation? No. It is not possible for the, for the, for the we can say that for the objects or it is a user defined data type. But what is the, our aim and objective of C++? It must, though your class is a user defined data type, but it must behaves like a built in data type. It should follow the characteristics of built in data type. So to, to achieve this, we are going to use the concept of operator overloading. Let's see how it will, how it works. Now suppose I want to do the addition of two numbers. It is we will take very simple simple example. I want to do the addition of two sim, two numbers, two integer numbers. So what I will do? First of all, I will declare a class. It is class addition. I will I can give any name to the. It is user defined data type. So I have given the name is addition. I want to do the addition of two numbers. So what I will do is I will declare two variables integer x, y. And I want to store the sum or I want to do the addition of these two numbers and store the result into a one variable. So I will declare that variable as a sum. Then it is in public part here is void get data. I will accept the values from the user. So I will take the function name is get data. You can get take it accept, read any function name you can give. Then I want to do the sum, so it is void. I can say that it is, uh, I will give the name is add. And then I want to display it, so it is void. I can say that display, void display. So this is my class. This is my simple class. So there are three, mem three data members and three member functions. Now I want to define it, those functions outside the class. So we know the syntax already. So it is void. We can say that the class name is addition. Then it is a it is a member function. So it is get data. Then here is the I will say that C out enter the two numbers or enter the number. So it is enter the number. Enter number. And then I will accept simple number. It is x is x or I can say that or more we can make it more user friendly so you can say that it is integer num and I will there is a one variable so it is I will take only one so now then here is instead of x there is I can take the instead of taking only one object I will take the three objects a1 a2 and a3 so I, I have accept the num, accept the numbers so it is second one is void it is again class name is addition and then here is the it is display, I will first write it down the display function. So it is display and here I will simply print C out and likewise sum is, uh, it is we can say that here is I will display simple num. This sum, this is, and then here is, uh, I will first write it down the 
integer i will i will later write it down the definition of uh, addition or add we can say that so here is integer main i will create the three objects so it is addition i will create the a1 comma a2 comma a3 i have created three objects how many objects three objects now it is a1 dot get data so i will accept the first number a1 dot get data then it is a2 dot get data and i want to store the addition into the object a3 so it is i will simply it is a3 dot add now we have to do some changes into the program because now we are using the three objects there are three objects a1 a2 and a3 and all those three objects are having one copy of num so the num copy of a1 plus num copy of a2 result we have to store into the num copy of a3 objects that's why what we have to do we have to pass objects as an parameter to the add function so here is the here are the changes so we can say that if we are sending passing the objects so it is addition comma the class name both are class name slight changes now we can define it so it is a3 dot add then it is simply a3 dot display this is math so now i am going to define the function add so it is i will say that it is void it is void then it is addition the class name addition and then here is a scope resolution operator here is add i have to accept two objects so it is addition x comma addition y correct because i have sent two objects a1 and a2 so it will accepted by the x object and it will accepted by the y object and here is simple num is equal to it is x dot num plus y dot num so this is the here is the num this is the variable of which object it is the variable of a3 object because a3 is responsible for calling the function add that's why this is the this num is of the a3 object now we have pass a1 and a2 a1 is a1 object is accepted by x and a2 object is accepted by y then it is num is equal to x dot num plus y dot num now a3 is responsible for calling the function display now that's why that num is the this is the copy of which object a3 object so it will simply display the it will print the value 30 now how here how we can use the concept of operator overloading now can i directly write it down in the main can i directly write it down a3 is equal to a1 plus a2 and then can i write it down c out is equal to a3 c out i am going to print the value of a3 no it is not possible it is not possible we cannot perform directly operation mathematical operations to the object but the as i said earlier it should follow the characteristics of built in data type and in built in data type we can directly add the value of x and y and we can store it into the z and we can print the value of z so that's why we are going to use the concept of operator overloading that means we are able to perform the mathematical operations arithmetic operation that means addition subtraction multiplication division onto the objects so how we can do this let's see now in the operator overloading there are two types one is the unary operator overloading and second is the binary operator overloading unary means there is a single operator there is a single operator there is a single operand sorry there is a single operand in the binary operator overloading there is a two operands and one operator so here what we will do the changes we are here we are using the concept of operator overloading so we will directly write it down a3 is equal to a1 plus a2 this is the binary operator overloading because how many operands are there there are two operands a1 and a2 and which operator we are going to overload we are going to overload the plus operator okay so what the concept is or what the rules of operator overloading is always left hand left side operand is responsible for calling the function 
so here a1 object is responsible for calling the function and a2 is passed explicitly okay a2 pass explicitly so we can simplify it or i can write it down it a3 is equal to it is a1 dot it is this operator we are going to overload so operator plus and we are going to pass the object a2 a1 is re responsible for calling the function operator plus operator is a keyword here operator is a keyword and a2 we are going to pass a2 hum object ko kya kar rahe pass kar rahe so let's see what we will do so here is function is again going to be changed function is going to be changed here here the declaration is again going to be changed so here a3 we have to return the object because value is going to be stored into the object a3 so that function should return the object okay which object of which class it is addition class so definitely return type is addition return type is addition then again class name is so it is function name is sorry it is function name is operator plus operator plus this is the function name operator is a keyword and plus is the operator which we are going to overload it then how many objects we are going to be pass we are going to pass only one object a2 object that's why here we required how many objects only one object addition that's it rest of the functions are same get data function and display function is absolutely same only the changes seen in the function of add okay now how how it will be the definition or what what will be the changes into the definitions so here so we have we have to first is the return type so we have to return the object it is addition then there is a class name is addition we are going to overload the function plus operator plus and a2 is passing only it is implicitly passed so it is we have to accept one object is addition we can say that it is x fine you can give any name it is user defined name so you can give x y z or you can you can also write it down a2 as well it doesn't matter so it is we so we will create one temporary object so addition temp is a temporary object so temp dot num is equal to num plus x dot num and here we are going to return the object return temp return temp correct so what happening is here a1 is responsible for calling the function that's why this num it is the copy of each object simply a1 object okay a2 we are passing it and it is accepted by the object x so that num copy is of which object a2 object a2 object so num copy of a1 object plus num copy of a2 objects and we are going to store the result into the temp object temp object it is a temporary object and now we are going to return the object temp now it is accepted by a3 and then simply it is a3 by a3 dot display a3 dot display and we will get the output in this way we can overload the operator this is the concept of simple operator overloading we are i am talking about actually i am talking about the binary operator overloading how many operands are there there are two operands and there is a one, only one operator in this way we can do the arithmetic operation what we are doing is here actually we are doing the addition of two objects so that it follow now it follows the characteristics of built in data type isn't it correct yes it follows the characteristics of we can directly perform the operations any operation any arithmetic operations on to the objects we can achieved it simple any doubts